Robert Pollard here. I don't know where you are right now, in which season in your life you're at. Maybe you're going through a, a desert season. Maybe you're going through a season of um, where you feel spiritually dry. Maybe you're going through a season where you feel afraid or um, uh, in a place that is unknown to you and it's uncomfortable and it's frustrating. Or maybe you are in a great place. Maybe you are you you, you feel that that like everything is going well. Everything is going according to plan, according to your plans. Maybe you're in a place where you are just so dissatisfied with the status quo. Maybe the place where you're worshiping the church you're at or something. Uh, you just feel like um, you're not feeling it, and maybe you even. Uh, persecuting the church uh, like like Saul from from Tarsus before he became Paul I want to speak to you today and I want to encourage you to go through the Bible go and read um, chapters like Genesis 28 and Exodus 3 um, Isaiah 6 and uh, the Gospels and in the book of Acts go and read about uh, men who, and how many times they were also in a place of frustration a place where they felt alone a place where they felt uh, afraid a place where they felt like um, they didn't see any kind of outcome and that God has always specialized in appearing to man in times like that uh, you know you can look at Jacob and Jacob's ladder running away from his brother in, a, in fear he has this encounter with the Lord the Lord establishes his covenant with him uh, uh, Moses runs away from from Egypt having murdered someone he's tending sheep in the desert he's frustrated he, he knows that he's been called for something different he has this burning bush encounter with the Lord Isaiah is in the temple worshiping uh, you know we so it, it seems like everything was going well with him at that time and he has this holy disruption the Lord appears to him he realizes he's a sinner of unclean lips the Lord purifies him and commissions him and establishing him, establishes him as a prophet uh, you know Peter is frustrated on his boat he's not catching fish uh, he, he doesn't know what to do the Lord is on the boat with him says to him just cast your nets on the other side there's this miraculous harvest Peter's reaction is also I'm a sinner please go away from me uh, Saul is persecuting the church he's killing the Christians uh, he hates Christianity he, he hates what's going on he says they're all heretics and he has this encounter with the Lord in Damascus on the Damascus road Elijah is running away from Jezebel and he's in this cave and he has this encounter with the Lord and the Lord says to him what's going on with you you know and the Lord establishes him commissions him uh, refreshes him I want to encourage you today that I believe these divine encounters that we have with the Lord Jesus um, they are for everyone I believe everyone has at least one such divine encounter um, planned for them ordained for them set up for them by God and it's not when you perform at your best it's not when you're doing everything right that you know uh, always have these encounters it can be at a time of, of misery it can be at a time of sickness it can be at a time of depression a time of frustration a time of lack a time of fear a time of um, uh, being afraid of the unknown it can be at any moment that the Lord wants to reveal himself to you the Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 15 it says that the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cries maybe you think the Lord has given up on you I want to encourage you I was there I, I wanted nothing to do with the Lord anymore I was so depressed so lost so down and out so suicidal and when I least expected it the Lord was there I had this encounter with him it changed my destiny it changed my life I've never been the same since then and I believe that the same can happen to you